Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm sharing with you the Positive Vibes Creative Box. It's a subscription box that I offer in my shop, and I want to show you all the goodies that comes with it. So first of all, every subscription box comes with a Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This one is a pretty blue color. Then there is a printed journal that comes in the kit. This one isn't bound, but yours will be. It'll be bound with two staples down the center, and it has a cardstock cover. The image on the front is a photograph that I took of a flower in my shop, and then Norella of Calico Collage used her digital magic and went in and added this wonderful background, added this text on top and butterfly. On the inside, you have this beautiful kind of a watercolor effect look. And then these are the pages or journal pages. It comes with 12 pages. So if you take a piece of paper, fold it in half, that's four pages in a book or a journal. And in this case, there's three of those pieces of paper. So it makes 12 pages. So this is what the inside looks like. And again, those will be bound, and then you'll see this is what the back looks like. And then it comes with three pages of ephemera or fussy cut elements. So here's the first one. You've got this corner pocket here, another corner, journal card, little labels that you can use, and tuck spots or belly bands. This one has a tall skinny card and then has all these little elements that you can fussy cut apart and another strip to make like a belly band. Two more journaling cards here. I wanted it to be a positive, inspirational type kit. So that's why it has really fun sayings like dreams don't work unless you do. This is a word search that comes and then another little tuck spot and some more little fussy cut elements as well. You also get an exclusive stencil. Let me get a sheet of paper so you can see what this looks like. This is what the exclusive stencil looks like. And I think it's important to have a stencil with the kit so that you can have fun creating your own pages. Then you also get a packet of pieces of paper. A lot of these are um, a variety of things. So first we've got this eight by eight ledger looking paper. We've got some cardstock. This is craft cardstock and it's made to be like a five by seven card. It's got a score mark so you can fold it in half. You can also cut it in half and make it into individual pieces. And then you have a couple of pieces of long pieces of cardstock that you can use. Maybe you want to make a belly band or bookmarks. You also get some music. This is from a, what do I want to call this? A uh, music book that I took apart. And then you get some dictionary pages. I think this one is the French to English or something dictionary. I know there's one in there that. And this is a larger dictionary page. You get a couple of those. And then you get a smaller page out of a Bible. It's really thin paper and I just think it's fun to play with that little thin paper. You also get a 12 by 12 sheet of some tissue paper that has this damask pattern on it. Then you get a couple of like, I think this is a three and a half by or a four by six maybe type journaling card. And then this is um, an old envelope. It says U.S. Savings Bond. I have a whole box of these that was given to me. And I thought they'd be perfect to recycle and use. You get a couple pieces of a blue cardstock. And you get a couple pieces of a brown cardstock. And here is some craft cardstock. Some white cardstock. Again, some craft cardstock in different size. Different size of a brown cardstock. And then you get... This is kind of a pearlescent. You may not be able to see it on camera, but it, it's an ivory pearlescent paper. And I just thought it was really pretty. Some square pieces. Then you'll get some smaller square pieces. You'll get a few ATC size pieces. 
you get a couple of little envelopes. These were a box of envelopes that I got really inexpensive. Some of them may be kind of stuck together, but again, it's all about upcycling and using what we have. So I added a few of those into the kit. And then I've got, this is like a claim ticket where you can write on one and then tear it apart. And I thought that would be fun. And then you get a couple of these pre-die cut little tickets that you could stamp on or color or whatnot. Also included in the kit is a little goodie pack of ephemera and pieces. So I had some old calendars. I think this is a Thomas Kincaid calendar page. And I just picked a couple of the pages. So what my thoughts were is you could cut out that center area and use it to make a journal card. And then I found another calendar from 1997. So basically this is over 20 years old, but they're different. Uh, verses, Bible verses in those. And I just thought those would be kind of neat to share with y'all. And then I have a couple of squares of it's canvas. It looks like denim, but it's actually a canvas. So there's a blue, and then here's a little bit darker blue canvas. And I still had some of this purple textured paper. I've used it in a couple other kits. And I thought, well, I need to share some more of this with y'all because it's just so fun, so bright, and so colorful. And it's just a beautiful purple color. Then you also get a string of tickets, so you could use these as individual pieces. You could cut them up, or you can use them as a one solid piece, maybe make a belly band. You get a yard of this metallic silver trim, so I'll kind of hold it out there so you can see it. And I just thought that would be kind of pretty to use. Then you get a yard of this beautiful blue lace, because I thought it matched some of the colors in the kit. And then you get I believe most of these are a yard, some of them may be two yards. So this is kind of a fuzzy mint green tealy color and a blue yarn. And this is a multicolor yarn. And then this one's fuzzy, so it has some texture to it, kind of like chenille. And then here's another fuzzy little yarn. And then lastly, you get this little packet of goodies. So let me get this out. I think I have, yes I do. I've got a little bowl here so I can dump it all in there. All right, so you get a bunch of these little paper flowers. So you get two different sizes. And I did these ivory or white flowers because you can spray them with tattered angels. You could paint them with acrylic paint. You could use distress inks on them to change the color. You also get some spiral paper clips in the kit. And then the rest of this is some fun little things. So this is like a little tassel. It's leather and then there'll be a different color in each package. So you may get a pink one, you may get blue, you may get black or brown or ivory. So it just kind of depends on when I grab them. You get a couple of these little hinged um, D rings. So they have a hinge on them. So if you wanted, you could place this on the front of your cover and one on the back of the cover. You even get the little uh, brad, you get two little brads to put with it and run a ribbon through it, tie your journal shut. You could use this to hang. So just something fun that you can do with those. And you get a bunch of charms. So I'm going to kind of lay these all out. I'll try to get you all a variety of little charms. So we've got different words. So each one kit's going to have a different word, but this one happens to say blessed and trust has this little flower, has like a little bee and then a little flower there. You also get six garment pins or bulb pins in one, one set is three in white and three in silver. And then you get a bunch of little beads that I found that the reason why I include them is that they're kind of fun if you open up the bulb pin. So let me get one open. I'm holding it the wrong way. My fingernails are getting so long, it's time for me to trim them again. So if we put a couple of beads on here, And then you can have this little dangle that you can add to your journal pages or to the 
cover, wherever you want. So that's why I include those. So this is the subscription box. It is currently $24.99 and you have to pay shipping to wherever you are and it is bi-monthly. So that means every two months you will get a new different designed kit and you can opt out at any time just go in and you can say uh, unsubscribe or you know hold or cancel it's not a problem we can we can do that so now i'm going to show you what i call the add-on item so we've made this portion this is what you're going to get in your box but you may want to make more journals so we're going to give you some other options that you can use so the first one that I'm going to show you is what I call the large journal kit. And what this kit does is it has enough things in it that you can make two journals. So you've got two covers. So here's the first cover and here's the back side of it. The signs that I drew and Norella pulled in and used those as texture on the images on the pages and then she's also made some other little texture elements with the photos so here's the our images this is the second cover that's the inside then there are seven two-sided journal pages so here's one and then there's the next and the colors are so vibrant and beautiful I just love them I love how this is coming together I love how she's used my stencil design throughout the kit here again the next page I like this border so you could fussy cut this out and use that as a journal page and as I'm showing you this realize that there's also a digital download so if you don't want the subscription box and all you want is the journal kit you can get just the journal kit as a digital download this is the next page next page I love that she put these great quotes throughout the kit. Lots of journaling space, lots of blank area, and then here's the last one. All right, and then there are six fussy cut pages that you can use in this kit. So here's the first page. It has little postcards, tags, and elements. Lots of positive words. That's why we called it Positive Vibes. And then here's the next one. This was a corner tuck spot, if you will. If you fold it here, fold this and glue it, then you have a little tuck spot that has a beautiful uh, two-sided. I have also cheated and cut this apart and made that a tuck spot and then made this a journaling card that's uh, stuck into it. Another tag. This time she added a crossword puzzle. I thought that was kind of neat that she added to the kit. And then this is like a little tuck spot or journaling spot. Love the little sayings and images and then here's a bunch of little cards the images here this image is also from my garden and norella came in this one is what as well and she just added her uh, digital mixed media touch to it i think it's really cool to see that here's another one that's from a flower that i took of my garden another corner tuck spot and here's another corner tuck spot as well and then all of these pieces. So it's a lot of fun how she's put this together. And then we've got a mini journal. So that is also available as a digital download. And I may have one of those pages messed up. I'll have to look at it again <laughs> to make sure. Because I thought that the two-sided page actually is supposed to go in the subscription box. So I may have that out of order as I'm showing y'all. And then there's a mini journal kit that you can get. So it has two covers. So there's one and there's two. So there's two covers. And then it has four journal pages that are two-sided. So basically you're getting 12 different images with this kit. So those are those two pages. And what I like to do is split these up and then add some papers from my stash or maybe from the subscription box to make it a bigger journal kit. And then this time we're doing a planner kit and I was talking to Norella and I said, Norella, you make these planner kits but there's not a journal cover in it. Usually what I'll do is I'll pull the large journal kit pick an image, print that on cardstock, and then I'll use the planner pages. Well, we started adding 
a planner page to the planner. So here is the cover of that planner page cover. Start the day with a smile, and that's what the inside looks like. And then there is a one month spread on one side. So in the past, she had it across two pages, and I always felt like, well, I don't have a lot of options of where I can put that one month spread because it's across two pages. And so she shrunk it just a little bit. And then here's the other side. And then here's the next one. And then here's the next other side. This one. And the other side. I like this post-it note look. I think that's kind of cool. Here's the other side. And then here is like a two week spread across two pages. And then here's another one. And then you get some journal cards that you can use with your planner kit. So that is the printed portion. Then I have an option to purchase Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And it may be hard for y'all to see this, but what I decided to do this time was you get a kind of a blue color in the kit. And then this is kind of an aqua, a positive blue. It's kind of aqua looking. And then this is a kind of a pinky purple. And this is a little bit darker purple to it. And then this is a really deep, like Merlot. We call it deep purple vibe, but it's a real dark purple. And I thought it kind of popped some of that purple out in the kit. Then you get this dark green, and then you get a lighter aqua green. I guess that one is aqua, and this one's more turquoise or teal. So those are another option that I have in my shop. And then Norella playing around with the images that she used in the kit. She designed a stencil and here's what it looks like when you spray through the stencil. And then this is what it looks like when you mop up on that stencil. So it's got some really cool shapes on there and I can see doing some fun stuff with mixed media. So this will be an add-on item that you can purchase or you can purchase it separately. You don't have to purchase it. Uh, you don't have to purchase the kit to get this stencil. You can purchase this by itself if you so choose. I also have a whole bunch of rubber stamps that I just added to my shop. I won't go through all of them, but as you can see, this whole Ziploc bag is full of new stamps. I'll be using those throughout the next couple of weeks as I create with the Positive Vibes journal kit. I hope that you enjoy the kit. Um, we try to think about the things that we're going to use in it. And I work with Norella asking her to put certain images in it. And it just makes me feel really good that she used some of my photographs in the kit. She used my stencil designs that I hand draw in the kit as well. All right, everybody, that's a look at the Positive Vibes subscription box and add-on items. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends that may like some Positive Vibes in their life. I hope that you'll come see me live at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time on Mondays where I show how to make a junk journal using kits or things that I have. And on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I do mixed media. We'll do gel printing. We'll do direct to paper mixed media. We'll do layers. We'll do all kinds of stuff. So come hang out with us as we make and create and fellowship with each other. Do check out my Facebook group, Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. We have over 20,000 members. And also check out By Linda Israel. It's a smaller group, a little bit more intimate. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I believe I'm also on Twitter. And of course, make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube and hit that notification bell at the top so you get notifications when I have a new video or go live. All right, everybody. Y'all have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.